Well, I do it that way. Well, you need to go to the Word and see what the Word say how to do it. Because if it ain't in the Word of God, then you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. And your Word, won't, your way won't stand up against God. So let us make sure that we are doing it the way God would have us to do it. And if we're doing it that way, just let us keep maintaining, keep doing what we're doing. Because we're on the right track. So to any of those that would like to come today and rededicate, renew, give your life to Christ, you won't be out of order at any time. What's well, on a sad basis? <laughs> <laughs> I got a mirror, I need to look at myself. Y'all look at me like I'm lighting up a little bit. I, I'm giving y'all good news here. Amen. It ain't too late. Amen. It ain't too late. So, if you're not where you need to be today, it's a good day to get it right. Let us lighten up a little bit. Satan, he done twitched us and got us in knots. We, we need to unwind a little bit. We unwind everywhere, but in the house of God. We come in here, we need to unwind and relax. Let the Holy Spirit have his way. Amen. Amen. Because I know, I know, I know. I got a year older yesterday. So I know. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So I know some of you old folks. I know how y'all feel. But young folks, keep living and you get old too. We hope that for you. But also, uh, I noticed something this week. I was at work and uh, doing my hard work like I always do. <laughs> oh, I got to laugh at that. <laughs> Tell the truth and I get a laugh. But anyway, I was doing my hard work like I always do. And I observed something. I observed the parents dropping the kids off. They were going into the building. And they were going into the building, there was this teacher there. And she was giving them a hug, and they were going on in the, in the building. And I thought to myself, how many hugs did they get at home? Amen. You know, and I thought, she probably giving them their first hug today. Amen. So I say this to the parents. Don't let somebody else give your kid the first hug. Amen. Give your kid a hug before they leave home. Tell them you love them because so often we let somebody else do all the work for us that we need to be doing. Amen. My kid don't need to hear somebody else say they love them before I say it. I need to be able to tell them. That don't need to be something overwhelming to them, mm -hmm. overwhelming to them, whatever that word is. Got to work out. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let us make sure that we take taking care of business at home. Better make sure. Because if we take care of business at home, then yeah. we'll find that business will be better anywhere else yeah. that we go when our kids go. So I said all that to say, God loves you. Amen. You know what? Love one another. Amen. Love one another. Amen. Because that's what it's all about. I was watching, and as I was saying that, I was watching, love has no colors. Love don't see colors. Love is love. Love has no limits. Love don't 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 isolate you. So let us make sure we doing what it is that we need to do. Doors of the church is open. Whosoever will, let them come. You won't be out of order at any time by coming accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Rededicate and re whatever it feel, however God leads you, we ask, encourage you, invite you to do what you need to do. Because we never know when the last day. This is my Praise Him. Amen. Almost. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Father in heaven, we come again, Lord, and we come with thanksgiving in our heart. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. <laughs> we thank you for this moment moment, Heavenly Father, that we now stand and that we live in. Yes, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity. An opportunity once more again to offer a thanksgiving. Yes. To lift up our voices in praise. Yes, Lord. 
sang songs, speaks of our trials and our tribulation, but tells us the answer is God. And Heavenly Father, we thank you. We ask Heavenly Father that you would forgive us for all of our sins. Cleanse us, Lord, from all of our unrighteousness. We bow, Father, knowing that you know more about us than we know about our own selves. And Lord, you know more about what we need than we know how to ask. But Lord, you told us to say our Father, which are in heaven. Yes, Lord. Hallowed be thy name, thou uh -huh. kingdom come. Amen. Thou will be done. Amen. On earth yes. as it is in heaven. Amen. Give us this day yes, our daily bread. Yes, Lord. Bread, Heavenly Father, for our bodies the bread, Heavenly Father, that feeds our minds. The bread, Heavenly Father, that feeds our spirits. The bread, Heavenly Father, that feeds our relationships. Oh, Lord, you know what we need. And Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, because we are your children. You are our Father. Heavenly Father, we come asking you, Father, to strengthen us where we are weak. Yeah. Build us up, Heavenly Father, where we have been torn down and prop us, Lord, on every need inside. Yeah. Oh, Lord, as you look upon these, your people, Lord, you know what we need. Yeah. Psalm, Heavenly Father, come and bow, Lord, because they are standing in the need of one thing and yeah. Some Heavenly Father standing in the need of something else. Yes, Lord. Well, Heavenly Father, you not only read our minds, God, but you read our hearts. Yes. And Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, because there is no other help that we know. Yes. We come to you, Heavenly Father, because we know, God, that we are weak and, and you are strong. Yes. We come to you, Heavenly Father, asking your blessings upon those who are sick and shut in. Yeah, Lord. Lord, we ask your blessings upon those, Heavenly Father, that don't know you in the part of their sin. Yeah, oh, God, we come today, Lord, we ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless every church that opened their doors in your name this morning. Yeah, yeah. We ask, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit would be there, that it would be God of Heavenly Father, that it would direct, that it would strengthen, and that it would help your people's God, that we might be able to come closer to you. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, help us to walk in your name, Lord. Help us to know what that means, God. Help us, Lord, to be able to identify ourselves in you. Help us, Heavenly Father, to be able to walk according to your promise, according to your way. Help us, Heavenly Father, to be all that you would have us to be. Oh, Heavenly Father, as you look upon us, Lord, we ask your blessings. We ask your blessings. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings. Those, Heavenly Father, who are looking for something, who are waiting for something, God, who are needing something, need a touch in their lives, God, we come, Heavenly Father, join in prayer. God, that you would touch according to your mighty blessings. And Heavenly Father's prayers has already been lifted up in this place, God. We come into agreement, yeah. oh Heavenly Father, with the prayers that seeks your blessings. Yeah. Oh Heavenly Father, we pray, God, your blessings upon all the mothers today. God, that you would continue to strengthen them. God, that you would continue to give them that what they need to hold on, Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask you to bless those single mothers, those Heavenly Father that seem to have to be able to fight on their own. God, you know, you know, Heavenly Father, what they need. We ask you, Father, to bless those young men, God, those young men, God, who are struggling, trying to find their way, God. Lord, you knew what they need. We ask you, Father, to bless those elders, Lord. Bless those, Heavenly Father. Bless Heavenly Father. 
Lord, because you already know. Amen. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless us today. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, today. Yeah. Today, Heavenly Father, that we might be yeah. what you need us to be. Yeah. Today, Heavenly Father, that we might be able to speak the things that we need to speak. Yeah. Today, Heavenly Father, that we might be able to hear the things, Lord, that we need to hear. Yeah. Today, Heavenly Father, that we might be able to operate today, God, the way we need to operate. Yeah. We realize, Heavenly Father, we have nothing without you. Yeah. We realize, Heavenly Father, that all power in heaven and earth is in your hand. Yeah. We realize, Heavenly Father, that if any strength come, it has to come from you. Amen. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to look out all, all over the lands and countries. And God, be merciful. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to look into the war towing countries. Yeah. Where men, women, boys, and girls, Heavenly Father, are being slaughtered, Lord, and have nothing to do with the situation. God, we ask for your mercy. We ask you, Father, your mercy, Heavenly Father, in those private homes, God, where there's nothing but abuse, Heavenly Father, and people can't see their way out, God. We ask for your mercy, God. We ask for your mercy, Heavenly Father, for those cheering, God, that are seeking some answers, Lord, and don't have none. God, we ask for your mercy. Lord, I know you are able, and God, I know you care. I know, God, that you are the answer. I know, Lord, that you are the way. And Heavenly Father, you told us, God, that when we need you, we can call upon you. And Lord God, we can call it upon you right now because you are our answer, Lord. You are our hope. And Heavenly Father, you're the one that has made us. You're the one that has called us, Heavenly Father. You're the one that has put us here. And Heavenly Father, we are dependent on you. And Heavenly Father, we are called out upon your name from the bottom of our hearts, Lord, because we know no other way to come. Amen. But we ask you, Heavenly Father, to touch according to your loving kindness, according to your tender love, and according to your mercy. And we claim victory in the name of Jesus. And can it is already done in the precious name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Savior, we pray. Amen. 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 God is worthy. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. He is so Thank worthy you. to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Certainly. Thank you, Lord. At this time, we would just like to say we honor Thank you, Lord. to God. Amen. Amen. To honor God. To honor God. To recognize his goodness. To recognize his grace. To recognize the fact that we live in these dirt bodies. But we have the spirit of God that also reside with us. How did God do it? How did he put himself in this mud pie? I don't know how he do it, but I know he do it. And I know that he is worthy to be praised for it. Oh, bless his name. He is worthy to be praised for it, so I thank him. Thank you, Lord. Certainly, I do honor our creator. For our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we give all of He who paid the price. Oh, Lord. The price that we couldn't pay. Amen. And we couldn't get it on the credit. Amen. Christ died for us, and the scripture said He died for us while we were yet sinners. Yes, so we honor Him. We honor him. Y'all ain't no Harry. <laughs> Y'all know but now I don't get in one. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. We honor the precious Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit of God. Amen. The Spirit of God. Amen. It is the Spirit that gives life. Mm -hmm. The Bible.
Bible said that the flesh profit nothing. Amen. Said it is the spirit of God that give life. It's the spirit of God that give guidance and direction for us. So we honor the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We honor the Holy Spirit. We honor the Holy Spirit. The spirit that God has sent into the world to to help govern our lives and instruct us in the way we should go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Thank, you, Lord. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get all right, children, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Sometimes I just get lost. I get lost in my thoughts. I get lost in my prayers. I get lost in... And it's a good loss. Good place to be. Oh, bless his holy name. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We do like to say that we honor Reverend McClurk and Bishop Coleman slipped in on me. He slipped in laughing because he knew I wasn't expecting him. But we do appreciate you coming and stopping by. Amen. And just to worship with us. Amen. Amen. We appreciate that. To my wife, I thank God for her. Amen. And my partner. Amen. She helped me. We keep one another straight <laughs> most of the time. Amen. I, I don't want to say that she's not only my wife, she's my friend. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for that. And certainly I want to say to the choir, to the officers, to the mothers, to the entire congregation, we thank God and we do honor you. Yeah. I want to say to all of our mothers, Happy Mother's Day. I want to say that we do appreciate you. Yeah. We appreciate our mothers. And it seemed like that mama had been there when daddy left. Yeah. I didn't want to get too bad on the daddies, but. <laughs> Lots of times, daddies will just take off and go, get a few babies over here and a few babies over there and keep going. Oh, y'all might well say amen. Y'all don't take the truth. I'll say amen by myself if y'all do Amen. And I thank God for our mothers that stuck with us so long through our thick and thin. Let's give a hand. I wish I had a good Mother's Day sermon. But I ain't got now. Hey man, God has directed me just to be thankful for our mothers but to, but to reach out for the lost. Yeah. Reach out for the lost. Praise God. Scripture reading comes from Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 10, 1 through 8. Also Acts 16, 25. Starting 25 into a few verses there. The Ecclesiastic is right to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down time to build up, <clears throat> a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. <clears throat> 
time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow, mm -hmm. a time to keep in silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, mm -hmm. a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. Acts 16, <clears throat> beginning at the 25th verse, and it says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, uh, and the prisoners <laughs> heard them. Mm -hmm. Certainly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken immediately. All the doors was open, mm -hmm. and everyone's bands was loosed. Mm -hmm. The keeper of the prison, waking out of his sleep, seeing the prison door open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, mm -hmm. supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried, with a loud voice, mm -hmm. saying, Do thyself no harm, mm -hmm. for we are all here. Mm -hmm. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling, <coughs> fell down before Paul and Silas, brought them out, said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. They said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Mm -hmm. They speak unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, and he and all his straightway. When he had brought them into his house and set meat before them and rejoiced, believing in God mm -hmm. with all of his heart. Mm -hmm. May God bless the reading and the hearing of his divine word. <laughs> we want to talk about getting saved mm -hmm. before your saving season run out. Amen. You didn't say before your saving season run out. The writer of the Ecclesiastics tells us that all things under the sun is seasonable. Mm -hmm. Everything that you can see, everything that you can touch, all the buildings of what things there are that it don't matter how great they may seem to be, it don't matter how much longevity it seems to have, it is seasonal. Mm -hmm. Let us know that there is no one that is able to control time. Amen. No one has the power over time. Time has power over us. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Let's us know that we are seasonable. Mm -hmm. It lets us know that there is nothing upon the face of the earth that you can do to give yourself any more time. Amen. Scripture says that our
days are numbered. Mm -hmm. Now our boundaries are set. Mm -hmm. And we can't pass it. Amen. So oftentimes we look at life and we consider life and it's, it seems that we are running a dream. And so oftentimes the dream turns out to be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. We're chasing the world and we're chasing the world good. And somehow or another, we so often say, if I just had, mm -hmm. if I could just get, mm -hmm. if I could just do, but none of those things that you have, or none of those things that you get, or none of those things that you can just do will give you any more Amen. time. David writes in Psalms 37, he says, I seen the rich man. And I watched him as he prospered in his ways. And he grew out as a green bay tree. Mm -hmm. But he said, one day I looked for him and he was gone. Mm -hmm. He wanted to impress upon us that it don't matter what you have. He wanted to impress upon us no matter how much you grow in this world. All right. He wanted to impress upon us it don't matter how big a name we build for ourselves on this side. Amen. It don't make no difference. Time is going to run out because it don't matter. Amen. Because we all are seen. Yeah. When I looked at the scripture, I looked at Moses and what a great man he was. God used him in a great way. God called him. Mm -hmm. He done everything he could to try to get out of his mission. But God had a mission for him. Mm -hmm. God wanted him to use his season to carry out a mission that he wanted him to carry out. Yes, <laughs> Moses done the job. And God was pleased with the job that Moses done, but Moses season at the end. Mm -hmm. It lets me know that it don't make no difference how much I preach my season is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. The Bible shows us a man by the name of David. David was a king after God's own heart. Mm -hmm. And God said that he will fulfill my will. And David sets the standards for king. Because there had never been another king like him. Great man of God. But he was a seasonable man. Yeah. He was a seasonable king. His days were numbered and his boundaries were set. And, and he couldn't pass them. And the scripture let us know it also shows us a man by the name of Noah. Noah heard God's voice. And God told him to build an ark. And Noah did what God told him to do. Noah saved himself and he saved his own house. But he only could save him for a time. Mm -hmm. For the family's time also ran out. The Bible said there is a time and a season for everything and every purpose under the sun. Oh, yeah. But when I look at these great men of God, their time ran out. But they had their business straight. Mm -hmm. So I have to stop here and ask for just a minute. Do you have your business straight? Is it well with your soul? I want you to know that man was not originally made to be in a, se a season of a creature. He was originally made to be forever. But God, but by making a choice to turn his back on God and to go in his own way, he set a time of season on his own life by the choices that he made. But I'm so glad that God didn't allow it to end there. For the scripture says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 
come in and when he see everybody still there, he saw the doors open, he saw the bands broken, but yet and still he saw everybody still there. Ain't it something how it is the jailhouse become the church house? Ain't it something how it is the jailhouse become the better place to be? Ain't it something yeah. how it can be sometimes better in jail than it can be walking down in the street? God shows up in the jailhouse. And I want you to know that God will show up where you at. Amen. You don't have to be in no certain place. Just want him. Amen. You don't have to be in no certain place. Just need him. Yeah. And it's time now to accept Christ. If you're not saved, it's time to get saved. And with the jealousy and everything that was going on, what was it that he had to say? Sir, what must I do? To be saved. He understood something. That my life is seasonable. He understood that I just got a short time to be here. He understood I need to get my business straight for his time to go. I stopped by to tell us today. You need to get your business straight. For it's time to leave here. It don't make no difference how healthy you may feel. It don't make no difference how strong you may think you are. You are a seasonable creature, and you need to get your business straight before business straight time run out. The Bible tells us about five who is further. They didn't get the business straight, and they knocked on the door, but they couldn't get in. When God shut the door, when He closed the door, when it's, when the business is over, but getting the business straight. You can't get right because it's too late. I want to tell you that Christ died for you. I want to tell you that he gave his life for you. I want to tell you that he opened up a door for you. I want to tell you that he says, whosoever will, let him come. I want to tell you that Christ is saying, push your fears aside. I want to tell you that he said, forget about what other people say. I want to tell you, he, he says, I'm calling you. I'm calling you. And that's what the jailer understood. That's what the jailer knew, that Christ was calling him. That he came to the jailhouse to get him. That these men had suffered for him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How it is that God would put people's in place and cause them to suffer for your salvation. Yeah. How it is that God would put people such as myself in a position like this that I might stand and pour out my heart to reach out for you that you might have salvation. Yeah. How it is that God would do this thing that he would leave us without excuse yeah. as he would call out our holy name. He would call upon our names yeah. for salvation. Yeah. God is calling and if you're here today, he's calling you. Mm -hmm. If you're here today, you are a seasonable creature. You may feel good. You may feel strong. You may think you got all the time in the world. But your life is seasonable. Life is short. The scripture talks about three score years and ten. And by reading the script, that means four score years. But the reality is, everybody don't get that long. The lots of times there are short gray as well as there is long gray. Oh, I know most of the time I'm trying to feed the congregation, but today I'm trying to evangelize. Today I'm trying to tell somebody that the door of the church is open. I'm trying to say that God is calling you. I'm trying to say it's the time to get your business at all. If your business ain't straight, it needs to get straight. Praise God. Bible. Let's us know. It tells us of a story of a rich man and Lazarus. And it tells us how the rich man led good every day. And Lazarus bad for cross. But the scripture said it came to pass that Lazarus died. But it went on to tell us that the rich man also died. And let's us know that God do not discriminate. And let's us know that God makes no difference in people. And let's us know that God is not impressed about who we are or what we have or the name that we build. God is not impressed. I knew you before you were, said the Lord. He told, told Jeremiah, I called you and sanctified you before you was born. 
Some of us have been sanctified and don't even know it yet. Some of us have been called in and don't even know it yet. You're going to have to get in order, get in place, get where you need to be. And listen to the call of Christ. For the Bible says he died for the sins of the world. Jesus Christ, as he said in the Garden of Gethsemane, he knew it was time for him to go to the cross. But it was a battle. You see, doing right ain't easy. Amen. Paying the sacrifice for salvation, going through the sacrifice is not easy. And that is why so many people don't want to take the journey. The first sacrifice is to deny yourself. Because so often time, we don't deny ourselves because we done made buddies with the world. Oh my God. We have become buddies with the world. We are tied up and tangled up in the world. All the time we are trying to operate under the name of Christ, but it won't work. You can't live and operate in the name of Christ and live by the world of standards at the same time. We don't want to give up nothing. We don't want to sacrifice nothing. We don't want to take a position and say, this is where I stand. This is who I am. This is what I believe. And this is what I stand for. But well, that's what Christ is calling for. Amen. Deny yourself. Take up your cross. Mm -hmm. Follow me. This is the word of God. Yeah. You look around you. You're living in a world that is crazy. Amen. Look around you. You're living in a degenerate world that's getting worse and worse every day. When I hear the sister read it a while ago, if my people are called by my name, they will open themselves and pray and seek my faith. Then when I hear from heaven, if they will turn from their wicked way. I will heal their land. God has given us an answer to the question that we have. But are we willing to follow? Or are we willing to turn to God? Oh, y'all thinking that preacher doesn't go crazy today. He sure have. I'm crazy for Christ. I'm crazy for salvation. I see what this thing about. I see the direction we are going. We're not getting any better. We are getting worse. The church is not winning, putting people. The church is driving people. It's time for us to be what our fathers did there. Time for us to reach out. Time for us to call. If I'm going to walk in his name, I need to live in his name. Just trying to tell you 
what God told me to do. Amen. Time to get right, people. Amen. Time to get right. People are clinging. Amen. People are clinging. People are standing behind poor pits and playing. Solicit. All they want to do is solicit money. Oh, you come so I'll say the ten dollar God will give you at least a hundred. Maybe give you a thousand. They got all this mess going on. People are being driven to it. Drawing like flies. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ said, I come that you might have life. And life more abundantly. He said, I come to say, for the Son of Man come to seek and to find that which is lost. Jesus did not come to make you rich. He came to save you. Amen. Because it don't make no difference what you get in this world. You are going to have to leave it. Amen. Somebody else going to get it and smile about it. Everybody else going to I ain't trying to take nothing away from you. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. The truth is the only thing that's going to make you free. Oh my God. Yes, sir. So I'm saying again, the door of the church is open. Whosoever will, let him come. Amen. Because you know why it says that? Because God's will has to override your will. That's right. When God, when you allow God's will to override your will, yes, sir. You'll come and take that seat then. Amen. And you'll come and take it because you have surrendered yeah. who you are. Amen. And the reason why so many of us have not came to Christ, we don't want to surrender. Yeah. When I get right, I got a few more things I gotta do. People die with a few things to do. Do you know there's a lot of people that they got to die with a few things to do? And they didn't get to do it? Y'all think I'm mean? Or y'all think I'm just expressing the love of God to you? You can come. And you can accept Christ as your Savior. All those things that you think is messed up that you can't fix, you're right, you can't fix them. Okay. But Christ can fix them. Amen. Everything that you need to be corrected in your life, Christ is able to correct those things. He's able to correct them now. You don't have to be in a fight. He don't let you just sit down and do nothing. You got to be in the fight. Amen. But if you're winning, to surrender your will to him. He will take your case. He will take your cause. And he'll fight for you again. Amen. God bless you as the choir come. Give us a song. Get saved. Before the saving door, saving time is open. Amen. Because once you give up this walk in this life, mm -hmm. There is no more saving time. Amen. Somebody talking about going to purgatory and praying your way out. You ain't gonna pray your way out. Once you, once you get in a bad place, you're in a bad place. Amen. And there ain't no way of getting out. Amen. The rich man said, Saint Elijah's just to dip his finger, the tip of his finger in water. Cool my tongue. I'm tormenting in this place. Y'all don't want to hear about hell, do you? Oh, it's a real place. Yeah. It's a real place. Yeah, we like to talk about heaven. Oh, my God. But there is a hell, too. I'm going to tell you, hell wasn't made for you. The scripture said hell was made for the devil and his angels. But it also said that hell has opened his mouth without as it opened his mouth without measures. Mm -hmm. So in other words, hell had to make more room. Yes, oh my God. Oh, yeah. That's caused me to tremble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Made more room. <laughs>
because there are more people who are wound up there than was made for. Do y'all hear that? That's God's word. That's the creator. So as the choir comes, give us a song. If you're here today, I would, I would pray that you would come and allow Christ to come into your heart. Amen.
since we last met. to it now, but you will respond. Amen. It's crucial. Amen. It's crucial. But this time we want to stand and we sing happy birthday to our birthday people. Say again, God bless our fathers. We we'll say also we have some members that are not here, but uh, they graduate. So we want to say congratulations to our Amen. kids that have graduated this year. Amen. Okay, happy birthday. Adult Sunday school class uh, because uh, they do a great job. Amen. We're just thankful to God for them. Amen. So if there's nothing else, let us bow our heads. Father in heaven, we do thank you. We thank you, Lord, because we realize that we are blessed. Yes. We realize, Heavenly Father, that you have given us great gifts. Mm -hmm. and we praise and thank you for them. Amen. Lord, I pray, Father, for all your children. Yeah. Lord, there are some that are struggling. They, some are not here, Heavenly Father. Amen. They're struggling. Amen. They're fighting. Amen. They're battling. Yeah. They're getting caught up and they don't know how to get out. Yeah. God, I know you know. Yes. And I know you're able. Yeah. We lift them up. We lift them up to you. Psalm Heavenly Father that are sick. Doctors giving bad reports. Father, we lift them up to you. Lord, we lift them up to you. And Lord, we not only just lift them up with our words, but we lift them up in our hearts and we lift them up in faith. Because we know, Heavenly Father, that prayer can change things. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to touch according to your loving kindness, your tender love and your mercy. We claim victory. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we count it as already done. In the precious name of Jesus. Now may the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, dead, buried, and a risen Savior, may the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may the rest rule, and may it abide with each of us till we shall meet again. Let us all sing. Oh.